Hey everyone, this is Larry. Welcome back to Today I Feel Like. Today we are going to check out a couple of face masks and a sweatshirt. Because Ogden sent me a nice crew sweatshirt and a couple of face masks. I have one that is my size and then a couple that are small. So I'm probably going to give one of these away. But let's go ahead. I'm going to take this sweatshirt off and put theirs on and then try the mask. So here we go. All right, so here we have it. This is the sweatshirt here, and this thing feels really, really nice. It's super soft. And now, if you're used to buying only that cheap sort of Walmart Target fleece, this is not it. This is premium stuff that feels really, really nice. It's just, yeah, this, I can't really articulate it so much except to say you have to try it. You have to put one on to really understand how good this feels. So yeah, we can see there's a little bit of uh, a little bit of uh, their brand here where it says Ogden made right there. On the back there's uh, there's some coolness on there that says uh, Ogden made it says explore more and uh, and it talks about they were founded in in Ogden, Utah there. So um, yeah, it's really pretty cool. Um, yeah, but let's go ahead now and check out the face mask and see what these are going to look like and uh, and how they're gonna feel. All right, so here we have the mask. We can see here, this one is, uh, it's going to be, I think it's sort of like a teal color, I guess you would say. It's a pretty cool looking color, um, but this one is a small medium, so that is not going to fit me. Um, this one here is also, I believe this is a sort of basic black here. It looks like it's black and gold um, with, the, uh, with the branding on there. But this one is also a small medium, so this one's not gonna fit me. We'll set that off to the side. This one here is going to be another one that's uh, that's black, and this one's gonna be black and white. And this one is medium large, so this one should fit me just fine. So let's go ahead and we'll take this out of the packaging here, and we'll see what this is going to look like. And yeah, look at that. Yeah, that is that that definitely has a different size, and it has a chin. You can definitely see right there. There's a chin panel that goes down so that you can um, so that you can fit that over your chin, which looks really cool. And you can see where it says Ogden made on the side. This right here has a little bit of stretchiness around the ears, so that you can uh, so that you can get that nice and uh, snug around your ears. And then there is a filter um, a filter pocket in here as well, so that you can put a uh, a filter in there. So. This actually looks pretty big. I'm wondering now, maybe if it's gonna be too big, but we're gonna see. I'm gonna put this on, try it out, and we'll see how this is gonna fit. Um, also, there is a, uh, an adjustable nose uh, bridge in there, a nose clip, so that you can actually get this fitted around your nose the way that you're gonna need to. So, all right, there we go. Ogden made face mask. Let's put this bad boy on and, uh, and see how it fits and how it feels. All right, so here we are. Now you do have cinches on here as well. So if you need to cinch that up, you can. You can cinch that up a little bit so that you can get these, um, you know, so that they're a little bit tighter around your ears if you need that. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and put this on and see how this is fitting. And let's see, I think that one needs to be tight. This needs to be tightened up a bit here. Let's tighten this one up a little bit. Oh, I think I actually tightened it. Uh, you know, unevenly. So let's get that there, and there we go. And these actually tighten up a bit here on the side, so you can actually tighten that up a bit on the side as well. So, all right, let's get that going. And you know what? I think this is gonna be, I think this mask might actually be too big. Um, let's see, where is the cinch there? Let's get that cinched up there. Let's get that on. And let's get that on. And yeah, I think, well, let's see. It definitely feels like I think this might be a little bit too big for me. Yeah. The medium large, I think is, uh, I think this is medium large or large extra large. This is medium large. So yeah. And let's see if I can find a little thingamajiggy. Tighten it down some more. And yeah, this one's helping some. It's helping tighten it down, but you can see that it's still a little bit, uh, it's a little bit loose down here. So I think this one might actually be a little bit too big. So, all right. It did look big. The mask looked big, so no doubt. So I'm gonna take, uh, I'm gonna try uh, one of the small mediums. And since I have one with a little bit of color on it, I'm gonna try the one with some color on it. So we'll, uh, we'll try this one here. 
And again, this one is uh, this one is a small medium. It's the same has the Ogden on there. Ogden made has the filter pockets and everything. So let's uh, let's try this one here and see how this is going to fit. We'll get that down there, and let's pull this uh, let's pull these these ear loops so I can cinch them up a bit. And we'll cinch this one up on this side. And yeah, definitely better. I was not expecting that at all. I was not expecting to fit the small medium. Normally I'm I'm like a medium large or sometimes even bigger. But yeah, there we go. And I really like this color. That is nice and bright and fun and something beyond just the basic black and white and gray that we often get. So yeah, all right. So there we have it. This is uh, this is the Ogden made mask, and uh, let's give it the yawn test. Woo! Just almost. It almost made it. That chin panel really, really helps. That chin panel down there really helps keep it in place. It almost passed the yawn test. I mean, it was really, really close. So yeah. All right. Well. Normally I just go walk around a little bit out front, but I need to actually walk to the store. So I think I'm gonna walk a little bit more than I normally do. So I can uh, test the face mask and see how it, uh, how it stays on and how it fits. And also so that I can see how this sweatshirt feels and how comfortable it is if I'm out walking. Cause it's pretty chilly right now. It's about, let's see, on my phone here, it says it is uh, 70 degrees. Well, let's see, let's update that. Cause it was, uh, it was a couple hours ago. So it's 66 degrees right now. So I'm gonna see how this sweatshirt feels when I'm out walking, if it's gonna keep me nice and, uh, if it's gonna keep me nice and warm and at the same time be a little bit wicking and keep some of the moisture off me. So we're gonna test it out as well as the face mask. So let's go for a little walk. All right, so here I am, I am heading out. It is, uh, it is nice and cool outside here, but my, uh, my sweatshirt so far, it's keeping me nice and comfortable. Now it's important for me that when I go out and I'm wearing a sweatshirt or something that I don't get overheated and start to sweat and, and then I get sick and all the other stuff. So I want something that's gonna keep me warm but not get me overheated. And so far, so good, this is working out really nicely. So I just got started on my walk here. I'm gonna walk a little bit longer and then I'll let you guys know how it's doing then. But the other thing is the mask is doing really nicely too. So as I'm walking and talking, the mask is not moving, it's staying in place, and uh, that's working out really nicely as well. So anyways, let me keep going for my walk. I'll hit you guys up in a little bit. All right, now this part of my walk, I never really like when I have to uh, walk over to the store, and that's because I have to cut through the metro station. And oftentimes, people are in here and they're not wearing masks. Now they're supposed to, we can see there's a sign there telling us that you need to wear a mask, but <clears throat> people don't always wear one. So I usually try and get through here as fast as humanly possible and uh, try and avoid contact with anybody because, well, I don't want to have to, uh, you know, breathe anybody else's air. So anyways, we are getting through here. It looks like I came at a good time when uh, there's not a train that's just letting out. So I'm going to try and hurry up and get through here and keep on to the store. All right, so I was able to get through the metro station without, uh, you know, without a whole bunch of people around. I only had to walk past two people. I was able to maintain my uh, six feet of social distance between them, and they had masks on, which is a great thing. And when I went outside, there were some people over there that were waiting for buses, and I was really surprised that everybody had masks. There was only one gentleman that had his mask pulled down, it looked like that he was smoking a cigarette or something, but everybody else had their, uh, their mask up and I was really pleased to see that. So anyways, I'm about uh, halfway to the store. My sweatshirt's feeling really good. It's still super soft. I'm not overheated. I'm not sweating to death. My mask is nice and breathable. I was not really expecting this mask to be as breathable as it is. It's real, feeling really good. This is a mask I would have to say that if you are uh, someone who works out a lot and uh, you need a mask that's comfortable and breathable. This might be a good choice for you. So anyways, let's keep heading on. All right, so I made it here to the store and I'm about to head in. And as much as I love this mask, this is where I'm gonna have to take it off because I'm heading in, I'm gonna put on an N95. And this, as they clearly mark on the bag, is a non-medical uh, non mask. So 
This is not going to protect you from the virus. It will help you from spreading it, but it won't protect you from it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on an N95, go do my shopping, come back, and then I'll be able to put this one back on. Now, as far as the sweatshirt, sweatshirt's still feeling great. I'm nice and toasty inside. I'm a little, I have a little sweat buildup, but I don't feel like I'm drenched or anything. It feels like the cotton is wicking away some of the sweat and I'm still fairly cool. So, um, you know, when I say warm, but cool. It's like I'm cool on the outside. My body's warm where the sweatshirt's covering, but I don't feel like gross and hot and sweaty or anything. So yeah, anyways, I'm gonna do my shopping and uh, I'll be back in, in a few minutes. All right, so I'm ready to go. I changed my mask up here, as you can see. Still rocking my Oxymade sweatshirt and I'm heading inside. So now I have my N95 respirator. I have my goggles on and this thing is not nearly as breathable as my Ogden mask. So I can definitely breathe in it, but it's not nearly as breathable. So anyways, I'm gonna head on in. The things we must go through to do some simple shopping like buying shaving cream. <laughs> anyways, here we go inside CVS. One thing you should do when you go shopping nowadays is get in and get out. Don't dilly dally. So I need to find my find my shaving needs and get the heck up out of here. That's what I needed, some shaving balm, and so I have it, and I am on my way out, because uh, I think that's all I need from here. So I'm gonna get the heck up out of this store. All right, everyone, so I'm heading out, and I didn't even get what I needed to get from Safeway. I went in there, and I basically had to leave, because I wanted to go down the uh, one aisle to get something that I needed. There was a guy down there that didn't have a mask on, I kept screaming and yelling at him. He kept ignoring me so he couldn't, he wouldn't have to say anything or acknowledge me. And the dude was up there like he couldn't find what he wanted. Then he was taking pictures and calling someone about trying to figure out what he needed. And, and then I went and asked one of the Safeway employees, hey, can you help me out? Can you ask this guy to move down the aisle or, or put a mask on? And he says, oh, we can't do anything. We can't ask people to put a mask on. So Safeway, I don't know what your policies are, but there should not be people in your stores without face masks. People have to eat and people expect to be able to go shop without having to risk their life because some jackhole won't put a freaking mask on. So Safeway, get it together, man. Anyways, I'm heading out, I'm heading back home. That sort of spoiled my mood. Had to put all my stuff down because I was like, I'm not even gonna shop here. This was the first time I've been out like this to even try and go to a store since all of this. I can't believe the dude didn't wear a mask. That's just horrible. So anyways, thinking of mask, I'm about to go ahead and take this one off and put my Ogden mask back on. All right, so I am uh, still heading back here. Sweatshirt is still comfortable. Uh, I've switched my mask again, so I'm back to my nice breathable mask, which is really comfortable to wear. Um, yeah, I guess my mood is a little soured at this moment because it started off so nice coming through the Metro everyone was wearing masks and then i go to the grocery store and there's this dude that just basically just says to everybody by not wearing a mask i don't care about your life in fact if i get you sick and kill you i don't really care because me wearing a mask and being comfortable if you're uncomfortable with the mask or taking some ridiculous political stance is more important than your life which is just asinine and you know also you know also as i was walking there's a guy in front of me walking with his wife and he gets out he gets over near me looks around the first thing he does is pull his mask down below his nose why it's not that it doesn't do anything if you're wearing a mask and you pull it down below your nose why are you wearing a mask 
I just don't get it. If you need a mask that's more comfortable, buy an Ogden made face mask. I've been wearing this thing. I'm not taking it down. I'm not pulling it off. I'm leaving it on because it's comfortable. It's breathable and most important, I want everyone else around me to be safe from me. Now I don't have anything. I don't think I have anything, but because no one really knows if they have anything, you just have to be sure by wearing a face mask. And yeah, right now I can tell you, this mask is comfortable. Maybe everybody should have them because I'm tired of seeing people pull their mask down under their nose. All right, so there we have it. That is a look at the Ogden made face mask here and their crew neck sweatshirt. And I love them both. I mean, they are getting the whole breathability thing down packed. I mean, the sweatshirt is really, really comfortable. It's not too thick. It's not too thin. It's just right. Now, I live in Virginia, just outside of DC. And right now it's around the low 60s, uh, 70 degrees in the daytime. At night, it's getting around in the, uh, the low to mid 50s. So when I was just out walking, it got down to around 52 degrees and I was very, very comfortable. I didn't feel like I needed to add more to this or to take it off. And when I started off, you know, earlier in the day, it was around 68 degrees, something like that. And I felt really, really comfortable. I didn't feel like I was getting overheated or anything. Now the mask also, the mask is really nice. It's very, very breathable. It has these ear loops that you can adjust there. They have a, um, they have a pocket on the inside so you can fit a filter in there if that's something that you wanna do. It's just, they got the whole breathability thing down. Really, they really did a nice job with both the sweatshirt and the mask. And I'm looking forward to still trying out that hoodie. So Ogden made folks, if you're out there, I'm still looking for that hoodie. Wanna try it out? Cause you know, I'm a hoodie type of dude. Anyways, I'm gonna leave links to everything down below in the video description to, uh, to the mask and to the, uh, to, the, uh, to the sweatshirt. And also please people, I wanna say this in all seriousness, I was really annoyed when I was out walking and I tried to go to the store and that dude was in there without a mask. If you are going to be around other human beings, if you're gonna be outside or inside at a store or at a venue or wherever, please, please, please wear a face mask and stop the spread. As of right now, COVID is on the rise in every single state in this union, except for two. And in those two states, it's just holding steady. It's not going down. If you look at the map, we have no green states right now in the United States. They're all, they all either holding steady or going up or they're the critical mode. So please, if you're not gonna do it for yourself, if you have think it's about politics, whatever it is, Please wear a mask, do it for the healthcare professionals that are out there that have to spend eight, 10, 12 hours a day wearing multiple masks and face shields and multiple gowns. Do it for them so they don't have to have as many patients in the ICU and they don't have to wear a mask every single day. So anyways, that's my spiel. Um, yeah, again, I'm gonna leave links to everything down below in the video description. I'm also gonna leave links to my Amazon page and my social media contacts so you can reach me elsewhere. And I hope you enjoyed seeing this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel and follow me on Facebook. And I am Larry with Today I Feel Like. Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time, love, peace, and air grease. Peace.